In this video, I'll show you how to create a mega menu in your WordPress website for free. Let's get straight into it. For example, throughout this video, I'm going to take inspiration from this Apple website here. So when we hover over it, we can see numerous different mega menu. And I essentially just created a similar setup on my demo site. So when I hover over this menu here, here we can see our mega menu. OK, so we've got an image here. We've got um, some menu items. We can add a store locator here. We can add a video. It's totally up to you. OK, so we can add a recent post and so on. So if you want to create a similar setup in your WordPress website, let's get straight into it. OK, so to achieve this, I'm assuming you're using a full site editing WordPress theme. OK, so for example, if I head over to appearance and in themes, I'm using the 2024 default WordPress theme, which is free. You can use any full site editing theme and you should be able to follow along. All right. We'll be using the default WordPress block based editing system to create our mega menu with the help of an additional free plugin. So with that prerequisite out of the way, let's head over to plugins and then add new. I'll leave a link in the description below to the link in which you can go ahead and upload the plugin. So you just go plugins, add new. Since I've already installed it and activated it, let's just quickly head over to active plugins. And it's this particular plugin here, the navigational block with mega menu by Multipress. All right. So as I said, I'll leave a direct link in the description below. So with that out of the way, now let's go ahead and create our mega a menu so i'm going to navigate over to appearance and then editor okay and then i'm just going to click on the header section of this particular page to allow us to edit it all right then i'm just going to click edit template okay so now we have the ability to edit this header section of our website so i already started playing with it beforehand so let's go ahead and actually delete some of the changes in which i've made and then we've got this mega menu. So I'm actually going to delete this mega menu. So let's just go delete and let's add a new mega menu. So let's just search mega menu. And I want it nested within this row here. So let's move this up. OK, this looks fine. OK, so to create our mega menu, I'm going to take inspiration from Apple's website. So we're just going to replicate one of their mega menu. Just going to replicate this one here. So we'll say Mac and then we'll also say store, but we'll only build out one mega menu since the process is exactly the same. So let's create our first link. Let's say home. OK, and let's add another menu item. Let's go ahead and add another. Let's say Mac this time. OK, and this looks fine. So let's create a mega menu for our store menu. OK, so we'll click on store. And then if we click this option here where it says add a sub menu, let's do that now. And here we can search for a particular block. So I'm going to click this plus icon and I'm just going to select um, columns. If you don't see it, just go ahead and search for it and we'll create a three column layout. In fact, I'm going to create a two column layout. So in the first block, we'll add our sub menu items. And then here, I just want to add an image. So this is one thing I dislike about this WordPress block based system. It's quite cumbersome. OK, so let's click on this. Let's just select text. OK, and then for each of these text items, you want to just link over to the particular page. So we'll just highlight it and then we'll create a link and then you'll just either search for it or just paste in the direct link to the page where it makes sense. I'm just going to leave everything without a link for now. OK, and then for this section, I just want to create an image for our mega menu. So I'm just going to add an image here. OK, so it's coming along nicely. This mega menu is too small, so let's save changes and let's double check it and then we'll make the necessary adjustments. So let's hit save. OK, so let's preview our website. OK, so we can see our mega menu is showing again, as I said, it's just way too small, so we can go ahead and change this. So let's head back over here. Let's click on our mega menu. OK, so to get this navigation um, bar, we just click on this option here and then we can quickly navigate to the appropriate section. OK, let's open back up this sidebar area here. OK, and then we'll click on mega menu. All right, so what we can do is we can set the maximum drop down width for the content okay so let's test this out so let's change this to say 800 pixels let's hit save and now let's refresh this page okay so this is looking slightly better but i think we can expand um, this mega menu content section just slightly and i'm actually going to add an extra column in just to help with the spacing so let's click on columns i'm going to go ahead and duplicate this column 
Okay, and that looks good. Now let's click back on the mega menu. Let's go settings again. And I'm going to increase this to maybe 1,280. All right, so let's save changes. And now let's refresh this page. Okay, perfect. Okay, so essentially what I did, because I know the content area for this particular site, and when I say the content area, the distance between here and here is 1,280 pixels. I basically just created my content area to replicate that. Okay, so to find out the width for your content section, you can just do right click, inspect element, or just inspect. And then we can click on this selection icon here, and then we can just hover over it to get the width so even if i click on this logo area here when we hover over it we can see the logo size but if we start to scroll up and keep going okay here so it's showing us that the width if you can see the 1280 pixels times 46.03 that's the width and the height of this particular section so we can leave it here again you can be more creative with this maybe you want to swap this out with a video maybe you want to add a contact form maybe you want to add a map maybe you want to add a store opening time it's totally up to you but now you know how you can easily add a mega menu to your wordpress website if you're using a different theme or you want to see a different method leave it in the comment box below like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box